Ultraviolet Boomtown Villains Made us touch recordings just Google me, just Google me. Why don't you Google me, just Google me, just Google me. Why you try acting bad? Why you step through like Jack the Captain had slapped him down, wrecked him back. Why you try acting bad? Why you try acting bad? Why you step through like Jack the Lad? Captain had slapped him down, wrecked him back. I will slap your dad. Why don't you Google me, just Google me, just Google me. Why don't you Google me, just Google me, just Google me. This is Coogan Cassius for iFilm London. We're at the XL Centre for the Senny 2012 show here at Hall S10. I like to have a look at that then. Uh, we're going to go in here, we're going to see there's loads of stalls, different martial arts, judo, boxing, everything's going on in here today. So we're going to go there, have a chat to a few people. We don't know everything about all the martial arts that are going on in here today, but um, we're hoping to find out. Thank you very much. Come on. Right, we're at MMA Apparel. Who have I got here? What's your name, sir? Alfie. Alfie? How you doing, mate? Yeah, not too bad. Yeah. Do you want to tell us a little bit about what you're going on in today? Uh, basically selling clothes. Simple. Yeah? Yeah, as many as we can. So what, what, what's the best items on, on show? Usually the stuff the fighters wear. Everyone wants what, what the fighters are wearing, so that's what we sell. Can you show us an example? Uh, let's have a little look at what we got. There's a fighter there, ex-UFC champion, wearing one of the training masks. This is this product here. So oh, okay. Training mask, I think you got one now. Whoa. Do I want to try it on? Yeah, why not? I'll try it on. Just come across here. Are you sure this is a training mask? It looks like something else to me, but I don't know. Let's have a little look. How big's your head? It's in proportion to the rest of me. Right. Right, hold on. I'll hold the mic then. Bring it up a bit. Up a bit. Eye bits. You've got to get the eye bits up. Oh, oh. There we go. I can't fucking breathe out of it, mate. Is that what you meant to do? You look like a piggy. Tell me it looks like a piggy, mate. Can you breathe? That's it. Mm. Ah. My God. Excuse my ignorance, but what, what, what does that do? What does it do? It basically restricts the oxygen going to your lungs. Strengthens your lungs because there's obviously a resistance against them too. Do you feel the resistance? A little bit. I had a chewing gum in my mouth. That's probably not a good idea, is it? It's not a good move, no. You should have warned me about that, but it's okay. It's cool. All right. So yes, that's all the fighters are using now. If you look at any of the top fighters in UFC, they all wear the training mask. And we've got another one coming out next month, which will be a streamlined version. We won't have the eye bits, so just cover the mouth. Be a little bit uh, more professional. But yeah, that's the products we sell. All right, sir, thank you very much for talking to iFilm London and uh, we hope you have a good day. All right, brilliant. Nice meeting you. Thank you very much. Right, we are at Leopard Ball. I don't know what Leopard Ball is. It looks quite fun. Uh, everyone's getting involved. Do you want to tell us a bit about Leopard Ball? What's yeah. your name, sir? Nathan. Nathan Baker. Nathan Baker. Tell us a bit about Leopard Ball. Uh, it's basically a fighting machine. So through the course of 10 stages, you learn how to fight and how to control your body, your entire body, basically. Okay, can you give us a little demonstration about leopard ball? Yeah, I can show you the basics. This is how you start, basically. You start just getting the flow of it. And then you just put a case of building the speed up. And then you can start moving your legs to it as well.
Whoa! That doesn't look easy, Nathan. Well, it starts off easy. That's advanced stages. But all it's about, the hardest thing people find is just keeping the ball central. Once you can get the ball central, you start off slow, you can nail the rest of it. How many people crack this um, in the first couple of attempts? Not many? Not many, but I guess after five minutes, just give it five minutes, don't quit. And if after five minutes you can't do it, then I'll be surprised. Apart from speed, what, what, what's this meant to improve? Uh, power. Because it looks like it's speed, but it's all about the flow of energy within your body. Because after using it for a while, you begin to be able to control your energy more and outlet it whenever you need it, basically. That's what it's all about. You can use this machine. The beauty of this machine is you can use it whilst not using it once you get good. You see, because I, I like to use this machine even no matter what I'm doing. If I'm like walking down the road or in bed at night, I'm still on this machine. <laughs> but that's the beauty of it, because repetition, repetition drills it into your head. And that's it, then you no longer have to think about how to move, basically. All right, Nathan, that looks very interesting. And where it's right near the front door, you can't really miss it, so everyone's got to have a go, surely. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. More people, learn the merrier. He's got the premier spot here, right through the door, and he's right here. All right, Nathan, thank you for talking to wife from London, and we hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Cheers, thanks a lot. Thank you very much. This is Coogan Cassius here for Right From London. We're at the Senni 2012 in association with Fighters Inc. With me, former world champion Colin McMillan, who you've got a book out. Tell me about this book. Well, basically what it was, um, this year, 20 years, because I became world champion. So as a result, I thought, why not update the chapters? Um, I originally wrote the book about 12 years ago. So uh, I updated the book and uh, launching it today. I see masses of queues of people wanting this book. So is there any left? That's the question. I've got a few more coming come back tomorrow. But having a good time, meeting a lot of good, good people and uh, enjoying the night. Just quickly, just tell us, why should people come to this? If you're a fan of whatever type of martial art or boxing, what is, why should people come to this show? Because it seems an amazing event. I've never been here myself. But why should people come here? Well, I've been here quite a few times and it's, it's great. It's a, the whole combat industry. You get all types of, um, of fighting. And it's kind of great to see how the different disciplines operate. And uh, you meet you know, various people from all different backgrounds. All right, well, Colin, we're not going to take too much of time. We'll see you tomorrow, and uh, we'll be waiting with the big truck full of books. That's what I'd like to see. Make sure you're there. We'll be there. Thank you very much. Take care. Right, we're at the art stall of Patrick J. Killian, who's in the middle of uh, producing a masterpiece as we speak. Uh, Derek Chisora and David Hay. We'll have a little chat to him. How you doing, Patrick? How's it going, Cassius? How you doing? I'm all well. Um, can you tell us, obviously, I've just told the viewers that you're doing a piece, obviously, it's Chisora and Hay. Uh, what's inspired you to do this, obviously, apart from them fighting very soon? Exactly. You know, they're fighting in July. What is it, July the... 14th. Yeah. Live on Box Nation. 27,000 tickets already. <laughs> so I thought I'd better jump on and produce a piece, really. That's inspired me to do it. Um, fingers crossed we can do... I. Funny enough, I might be at the event painting as well in West Ham on, the, on, that, on that night. Um, but I'm still waiting for confirmation on that. So it'll be great if uh, that comes off. It'll be brilliant. So you've got a lot of um, originals here, a lot of prints here. Um, so will this be finished by the end of the day? I'm hoping that uh, it won't be finished by the end of the day, but tomorrow I'll be doing a lot more work on it and uh, fingers crossed. To be honest, I'll probably take it away and work on it again because, you know, you look at things and you think, oh, like, maybe I could alter that there, do a little bit more here. So, let's see, let's see how it goes. I think you need some security here, Patrick. So, while you're painting, someone can keep an eye on all your bits. I thought you were doing that for me. I am doing it, but I can't always be here, so... Uh, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. All right, Patrick, we'll come back later on and see how you're getting on with it. Come back later and uh, check it out. Nice right, nice one. Thank you, Patrick. Right, we are outside Gabba's Games, is it girls? Gabba's Games, yeah. Right, can you tell us what's going on here? What's your name? My name is Nadine. Nadine. My name is Sophia. Right, do you want to tell us a little bit about what's going on behind us? Okay, we've got a competition going on, so the person that throws the, the hardest punch is going to win one of these. Wow, and is there a champion of one of these already? Um, yeah, we've got a winner at the moment, but it keeps changing because everyone keeps coming back to try and beat what they did before because... It's just a big competition. There's two guys that keep coming back at the moment, so... Well, I might get involved, you know what I mean? I, I could take that title away. You can try. 
Of course, yeah, you look very big. You, can well, you don't think I'm strong enough? What's going on? <laughs> you look very big and strong. Why don't you try? Looks can be very deceiving. No, I don't believe that. I believe my eyes. Okay, thank you very much. Um, so, have you had many people coming through here to, to test this boxing machine? Yeah, there's plenty of people going around testing g uh, different ages, guys, fighters, children, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Children as well? <laughs> yeah, a few children as well. Yeah, all ages. They're all loving it, yeah. It's just funny. It's just funny watching everyone, isn't it? And having everyone's having a go, so it's good. All right, girls, thank you very much. Talk to I from London, and uh, we'll come back later on. You can tell us if there's a new champion. Yeah, we're going to tell you definitely. Just, yeah, we'll, we, we'll keep you updated. Keep us updated. Thank you very much. Have a go. Make sure you have a go. Yeah, I might have a go. I have to limber myself up, you know? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> thank you very much. Right, we're at Champs, the Barbers. It looks like an actual Barbers. Nice. Yeah, I've got all my memorabilia up, a couple of bits here and there, signed stuff, signed gloves, got my signed shorts behind you, Coogan. Right, I'm yeah. blocking, but... Yeah, um, big Coogan. Big Coogan. So, um, what's inspired you to have a stall here today at the XL? Um, always wanted to do it. Wanted to show everyone what we're doing about uh, my shop in the West End. So... You know, what a better chance to show everyone, all the fighters out here. Everyone's people from everywhere, from all over England, so good stuff. Is it free haircuts for everyone? I'm, doing, uh, I'm taking donations for a charity today. Oh, that's fair enough. Collecting, collecting money for kids with cancer and that, man. Right, so who have we got in the chair today? MC Leonidas from Spartan Race. Okay, and uh, you're not at all worried about this experience you're about to endeavour? No, not at all. Full trust in champs. All trusting champs. Now you've actually got a sh um, an actual barber shop in London. Do you want to give that a little plug, my friend? Yeah, sure. Um, we're in a West End area, W1, right behind the Nike Town and Top Shop. Just come by. Um, open Monday to Saturday. Come by and see us. We've got uh, fights up on the TV. We've got a speedball up in the corner. All the memorabilia is everywhere. If you're a fighter, you'll really appreciate the shop. If you want the best haircut in the town, come by and see us. Amir Khan called me up last night, 3 o'clock in the morning, wanted a haircut. Yeah? He booked up for right after his fight. So make sure you watch Khan. He's going to win it, get his belts back. He's going to come down to champs to get a haircut. We've had Barrera in, I've had Tim Witherspoon in. All the boys, all the champs, go and get them. All the champs at champs? At champs. Champs, well, welcome to champs. Welcome to champs. Right, we're going to let you get on. We're going to come back later on and see what sort of uh, masterpiece he's created on you. I'll tell you what, this, this, is the, this is the before and this is what happens after. Whoa! Show me Whoa! All under the cape, mate. All under the cape. Come to Spartan Race in Red Hill on the 22nd of July. You'll see some real muscle. Yeah. We might get involved with that. Come on down. Bring your camera. Get your yeah. beard in. We'll have a beard off. Okay. I'm up for that. I'm up for that. You let me trim your beard now. Yeah. We'll, we'll do the man first. We'll come back here. We're here all day. Right. We're cool. All right. Bless. Nice one. Nice one. See, see you soon. Bye. Thank you. Well, you're trying to act bad, first step through like Jack the Lad. Captain, I slapped him back, wrecked him back. Well, you're trying to act bad.